Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to add dynamic images from the database in email template using Jinja template engine. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to set custom variables in Jinja template, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the Weblands channel playlist, you can see Odoo development playlist here, different types of playlist available with different topics with the real test cases. And if you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub. Make sure to follow that repository. We have also different social media pages. Make sure you can follow to get the latest notification. And in case you want to support this channel using many ways, buy me coffee, PayPal or using this join button. So let's back to our main topic like how you can add dynamic images from the database in email template. So let me go to in the cells in the product. So here you can see 28 product is available, right? with different images so i'm going to try to create a list of the products in email template along with the images so how you can implement in your side also right using ginger to template engine in version 14 or the lower version all right so as you already know like we created uh, this email template right and here I will try to create a new variable let's say sorry set equal to sorry products and the good thing is you can directly access uh, the ORM methods directly from here also object.env product.product .product search and order equal to id des sorry ascending order now i will try to create a one more table that is for the header part and this is for the footer part sorry not a footer but the body part here product name price all right and here i will try to add for loop And let me add here and for here let's say I will try to use PRD dot name and here I will try to add image tag so here let's say ALT product image then after SRC here I will try to use web image the template the model name is product product after that the product ID and I will going to use one twenty uh, image 128 field and let me add here one more style style like I will set here basically a uh, height and width
All right. So and I'm trying to upgrade this module. If you don't know how to configure Odoo in PyCharm, please check editor level playlist. I already explained. Let me minimize. Uh, let me go to that template. All right, you can. So like this way you can send Im images also like this way but the main thing is it won't be gonna work in the email template if you are providing your so let me inspect here and you can see here this is the pure uh, source image file here right and it's come from the database directly so in an email template you have to do one important thing is uh, let's say if you are trying to send any images from the database right so in the attachment ir.attachment field you have to compulsory you have to update as a public attachment otherwise it won't be work all right so let's say if i will receive this email to my email address right and once i will open from my side so it will automatically display these images if you didn't update attachment as a public right then it won't be displayed these images so as a in a local system i can able to see but like let's say in the production server if you didn't provide this public right then after it's not visible in the email actual email the user will receive that user didn't see this type of images so this point you have to not otherwise you have to do one thing you can just upload those images into the server and you have to pass that hard path to this src here like this way then after it will display okay so this is the main point here and uh, many developers are doing huge mistakes here so i also one of that one like i took a lot of hour i spent a lot of hours then after i come to know like this is a permission issue only that's it so i hope you understood how you can add images dynamic images from this database right to access in email so if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session